soap opera history watched by 30 million viewers and I remember watching it with my great grandmama. I'm talking about Luke and Laura. Please welcome America's sweetheart, Gene Francis and an eight-time Emmy winner, Anthony Geary. It's wonderful to be together again. And it is our pleasure to present the final award of the night. That is, of course, the award for Outstanding Drama of the Year. Here are the nominees. Outstanding Drama Series. The Bold and the Beautiful. Days of Our Lives. General Hospital. The Young and the Restless. And the Emmy goes to... Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. We have a tie. <laughs> there are two recipients of this award. The first Emmy goes to Days of Our Lives. Thank you very much to the National Academy. We're grateful. What a hell of a 50th birthday present, huh? Uh, thanks to Sony Pictures, thanks to NBC, to Bruce Evans, to Steve Moscow, Steve Kent, an amazing group of producers, writers, and cast and crew that make this work every day. But more than anything, this bejeweled group that stands behind me of the most beautiful people in daytime television. Where would we be without them? Thank you very much. Nab it. And the Emmy goes to... <laughs> wow. I know. The Young and the Restless. possibly time to thank all the people who contribute to The Young and the Restless, but I would like to thank Angelica McDaniel, Margot Wayne, CBS Daytime, Steve Kent, Sony Pictures Television. You know, a few years ago they said that soap operas were dead, and reports of our death have been greatly exaggerated. And I know that I speak for everyone at The Young and the Restless when I say we are proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with Days of Our Lives, General Hospital, and The Bold and the Beautiful. We are, we are
are not, we're not as competitors, yeah. but as, I'm wrapping up, um, <laughs> but as strong survivors in the, with the most talented, most hardworking, most underrated group of people in show business. Woo! Thank you guys, I love